It was a fun project. It was, I think we made one of the parts of the process that was so important was we labored through the strategic ideas and the strategic um, feasibility study to understand how we could, you know, fit this piece of a new piece of the of the press into the future um, of the existing. So all of those decisions were really thoughtfully worked out early on conceptually so that the university as well as the leadership of the press had a lot of confidence in what we would be doing. I also thought it was really interesting the dichotomy between the old monastic cells where the editors sat and then our new design was really talking about sort of a new modern take on that where it was the open office and we had you know that whole change management at the time right open office wasn't a thing and we were really trying to convince them to um, build a new kind of workplace and then the part that we did build was on the university walk and and then using slate in a sort of a sparing way but it was also you know perfect strategic location for the university. Right. We spent about every inch of that proportion. Yeah. Should it be one more slight course? Should it be one less? Spatially, it was so amazing, that space. And the way that the window was also two stories, and it looked, you know, the angle looked out onto the to the walkway from the university that connected the main portion of the university to the engineering quad, right. and how this was like a stop along the way. And then just, it's kind of quietly landscaped, so it becomes a part of the university, but people love when they find it on the residential street. So it, it's a nice um, gesture to both the town and the gown. You know, and we thought a lot about the angle, you know, we thought about the walk, which was barely there. How are people going to view this? How are they going to see it as they come and as they go? And the beauty of a great campus walkway is it gets tight and then it loosens up. It creates, as you said, you know, views into the next space that you want to move towards. And I think those are all timeless um, planning and design ideas that we still use today that are really important to the fabric of any project that we're doing.